an airport for 130 million passengers, an area of 10 by 10 square kilometer. Uh, it will be the biggest, bigger than uh, the current biggest airport in the world, which is uh, Atlanta, and uh, it's very exciting. My name is Rick Krabbendam and I'm the general manager, managing director of uh, NACO. NACO is a consultancy company. Uh, the name stands for Netherlands Airport Consultants. We uh, advise airports in the world about their investments, uh, modernizations, uh, renovations. We are here at Schiphol. Um, you can see the aircraft of KLM uh, here at the background. We feel very uh, connected with Schiphol because uh, basically the reason for NACO to be, be founded was the needs of Schiphol uh, 60 years ago. And over the time we have worked on this airport uh, on a continuous basis. And in a way Schiphol's success is also our, our success. What we found as a, as a sort of pattern in, in our history was that wherever oil was found and where basic infrastructure was missing, there was money and there was a need. So Saudi Arabia, most of the airports in Saudi Arabia have been designed by NACO. Um, more than 20 airports in Nigeria have been designed by, uh, by NACO. And when China started to open up in the early 80s, then uh, NACO also went to China. Uh, we have been working there for 25 years in several airports, built a relation with the um, aviation authorities in China. And the new airport that we designed now for uh, Beijing is sort of the, the high point in that, uh, in that history. But I mean that it's the biggest airport in the world. Uh, it will be bigger than, the, uh, than Atlanta, which is at the moment the biggest airport in the world. So that's by definition the largest project that we're working on. When we went for this final presentation, we looked at the work of our competitors. And they did a real good job in presenting the schemes. There was a moment of, uh, of anxiety, did, did we do, present it well enough? But finally the content of our scheme convinced uh, the jury that we had the best scheme. Well, 130 million passengers, that is, that is a lot. About designing any airport is always a challenge. What is very important is that you don't feel lost in such a big uh, airport. That you know where to go, that everything is clear. People are usually stressed uh, when they are traveling. They are worried about whether they can uh, make it on time to their aircraft. And if things are confusing, that adds to the stress. So the other side of it, if things are clear, then they feel much more comfortable. The initial opening of the, of the first phase uh, needs to happen in uh, four or five years. And that is in general ambitious. Uh, there are not many airports in the world that achieve such a big uh, scheme in that, that kind of period of time. But the Chinese can do it. They have done it before and they will do it again. Well, we are very proud, of course, to be uh, a, a small country, but, but with a big consultancy company in terms of airport development. They know uh, Holland sometimes, but at least they know NACO, and that is uh, that's something that makes us proud.